blood it is the red fluid tissue of the body it is the medium of the circulatory system it can be subdivided into plasma and formed elements plasma is the fluid part of the blood it contains serum carrying absorbed food materials minerals enzymes hormones and fibrinogen representing the protein part of the blood formed elements are otherwise called as cells there are three types of cells in the blood namely red blood cells rbcs white blood cells wbcs and platelets Red blood cells contain an iron pigment hemoglobin. Hemoglobin binds with the oxygen and transports it to all the parts of the body. The presence of hemoglobin gives red color to the blood. Our blood contains some clotting factors which are called as platelets. These platelets flow to the injury immediately. and help in the formation of a clot excretory system metabolic processes of the body produces many waste toxic substances these should be removed from the body in periodic intervals the process of removal of waste from the body is called as excretion It is performed by a special system called as excretory system. The main organs of the excretory system are two kidneys, ureters, and a urinary bladder. Kidneys are bean-shaped structures situated in the lower part of the abdomen. When the blood reaches the kidneys, blood capillaries in the kidney filter out harmful substances and retain them the pure blood with useful substances is sent back from the kidney the harmful wastes are dissolved in water and removed as urine urine is formed in the kidneys it is sent to urinary bladder through the tubes called as ureters it is stored in the bladder for some time The urinary bladder is an elastic bag-like structure which can store large volumes of urine. Urine can be passed out through an opening in the urinary bladder which is called as urethra. An adult human being passes about 1 to 1.8 liters of urine. in 24 hours the urine consists of 95% water 2.5% urea and 2.5% of other waste product during kidney failure there is an accumulation of waste substances in the blood that person has to undergo an artificial filtration process which is called as dialysis the tubes the blood vessels arteries and the veins make up the blood vessels arteries are the vessels which carry blood away from the heart to various organs of the body they have thick elastic walls veins collect the blood from different organs and bring it back to the heart An artery with pure blood when reaches an organ divides into smaller structures called as blood capillaries all these capillaries again combine to form a vein to carry impure blood